What's going on guys? Welcome to Fantasy Scholars. Today I want to go over auction draft and give you guys some tips to do really well with your auction leagues. Now first off, you got to know your league settings. Know your league settings. You don't want to be spending a ton of money on a player that just is not even good for your league settings. That's just a well-known player that's like, oh, he doesn't even work for my league settings. That way you can just let all your league members just spend a ton on that player. Next, you've got to know your budget, know how much you have to spend, and know how much the top players are worth or projected to be worth. Next is I always spend 70% on your hitters and 30% of your budget on pitchers. Get those quality, quality hitters and get that really, really good starter and surround that starter by quality, low to mid budget pitchers that can really do well for your team. Next is I really, really like this tip. My dad told me about this. It's set a cap per player. I This was the best advice I've ever received from someone is that when you have a player, so say you have five to 10 players you really like, set a cap of that player. Say I'm going to spend you know $5 over the max of this player, or I'm like, I don't want to actually spend this much on the player. That way, when that player is selected and and your league members are just bidding like crazy on that player, you can just sit there and be like, okay, I'm going to keep my cool. I'm not going to spend this much on the player. And this way, you can just have a well-rounded team that later in the draft, you can have a lot of money to spend on players. And that way, your budget is like, oh, I ex- this draft is going really well. I could actually spend you know $5 more than I originally thought I was going to spend on this player. And it's really nice. So just try to keep your cool let your league members spend, spend, spend early. And, you know, if you want that top player and you say, okay, I'm going to spend $60, then go do that because you have a plan for the rest of your draft. You already mapped it out as saying, okay, I can spend this on this player, this on this player. I really like that strategy. It's worked a lot for me. And it's really, really effective because if you're first starting out, these your league members are going to just spend like crazy on these players. Next up is sleepers. Let your sleepers be sleepers. You know, don't don't go too early and say, okay, when it's your turn, you're like, I'm going to select one of my sleepers. No, let someone else select your sleepers until the end. And it's like your turn and no one selected your sleeper. Then just, you know, select him and get him for a really, really low budget. And lastly, don't have money left over. Unless you have a league where it's like, your money rolls over to next year, then yeah, maybe that works. But in most cases, do not have money left over. Spend all your money. And I know it could be kind of condescending because I was like, well, don't spend too much, but it kind of depends on how the draft is going. But spend all your money. Don't have any money left over. I hope you guys enjoy this video and this helps you out. Leave a like and a comment to see what you guys want to see next. And what did I just say is the real question. So I I don't know what I said, guys, but thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys next time.